Boeing's 737 MAX jet groundings are having a big impact, surprise, surprise, on Boeing's delivery numbers for this year. 2019 likely to be its slowest year for deliveries in eight years. Uh, sort of fits, Alexis. I mean, it, it does. This is it's what you'd expect. To be expected, yes. However, let's look at the numbers. First, we have the August delivery numbers coming out yesterday. Um, so year to date, that total is down for Boeing 43% versus 2018 through August. Um, Boeing plane deliveries year over year, 276 this year and 481 in 2018. Now, if we look at just the month of August, the, that percentage number gets more aggressive, 72% uh, a drop there. Uh, 18 planes delivered by Boeing in August of this year versus 64 oh. last year. And one of the things I wanted to point out I thought was really interesting is the way that Reuters took a look at these numbers. And they said that net orders through August after all ca cancellations are taken into consideration between Airbus and Boeing, that you have negative 85 aircraft for Boeing and a positive 95 for Airbus during that time period. So that is one, I think, really significant way to look at what is going to be the competition ongoing between these two companies and how it really looks for Boeing. Mm. But that's not, I mean, they also, this is not like just the only bad news, right? They also had a failure, I feel like, right? It was their 777X plane? Yes, that's the 777X, name for it. and Boeing says that that is the largest the world's largest twin engine aircraft, and they're looking to roll this one out as well. A lot of excitement has been around this aircraft. And what has happened is in testing, while the aircraft is on the ground, not in flight, that there's a wing pressure test. And when uh, loads are exerted onto the wings to push them upward, that at a 99% level, that it failed. So here's what Boeing, here's the way they put it. They say that, that sounds terrifying. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> well, here's the way they put it. They say that the test Testing issue occurred during the final minutes of the test at approximately 99% of the final test loads. And, and it involved a depressurization of the aft fuselage. At this time, we do not expect that this will have a significant impact on aircraft design or on the overall test program schedule. So they seem to be saying that that one is still going to be on its mark in terms of- so as long as people times. don't bring too much luggage on. Can we, can, I mean, can we trust Boeing at this point, I mean, when when do we hit that point of no return where we feel like faith in the company is down? No, there is I mean, the no stock point is of no up. Return, the no. stock is up almost over right. a percent and a half. I mean, it's well, what just, are you gonna do when you want to take a plane? I mean, I mean yeah. it's either Boeing or Airbus. It's, it's right. Boeing or no Airbus, right. right? So are you gonna not fly? No, of course not. I'm asking right. seriously. I wonder if some people say, "Oh, look at what has happened. I won't fly." I don't think many will. No, I also not don't that, think people uh, check what what aircraft they're on. To I be think honest. more recently, more are doing it. More, now. more are doing maybe it now, doing but, it, yeah. and you know, some of the airlines are offering passengers who would otherwise be scheduled on a 737 Max to book another flight. All right, see how many do it. Thanks, Alexis. You're welcome.